Hello, this is Shofti, Shofti, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2, and there's something about the flickering lights, yeah. Anyway, uh, by the way, uh, after talking about the flickering lights, I just remembered something, that the GTNH uh, uh, 2.6.1 just came out, I didn't update the pack yet, and... I'll probably update it whenever I have time, but now, uh, it's not now, I'm also a bit kind of sort of tired. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's actually a day since uh, I've been in the moon, and we are ready to return, we have five nearly full uh, compressed chests so yeah and uh, those guys are like that by the way i f i forgot to add, bring something that i could recharge my electric jetpack so yeah uh, we are out of it but luckily it's not a huge issue and our rocket is here and let's return to our home. Yeah. Uh, I, by the way, let me just show you. I depleted a lot of ore veins, so uh, we we probably not going need, not going to need to go to the moon for a while. Also, I found another dungeon and. Yeah, we have both of those uh, workbench uh, schematics. And now, we off we go to the blue marble called Earth. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a strange name for a planet, by the way. Uh, I don't know why it's called Earth in English. It's, it feels weird. Uh, it feels weird calling a planet Dirt. So yeah, uh, it's a straight. It's just rambling on my side and our world. And let's go there. And voila, we are parachuting. And as you can see, as you can hear, we have maintenance issues. Yeah, and I can just take this. Yeah, our voila! I forgot that we have gravity now. Now, let's see the spoils of the moon. Yes, uh, this is just ores, and this is a lot of things. And also, this is just for rocks. And because why I get the rocks? Uh, yeah, uh, centrifuge in it give uh, will give us. A lot of stuff. Silicon dioxide, manganese, olive oil, tungst tungstate, uh, platinum, metallic powder, dust, and rare earth. So I'm going to centrifuge them a lot. Let's go up there and voila. Yeah, after returning to the, our world, our home, we, we will uh, going to make a processing line for all these ores. By the way, the most important one is the Ilmanite. Ilmanite, Ilmanite, I don't know how to pronounce it. The usual processing line. Uh, at the end, it gives us... Is that guy, Ilmanite dice, dust. And if we blast furnace it, we will get rough iron and tree root light for five Ilmanite. But... We have something better. If we get crushed ilmenite, if we put it in chemical bath with sulfuric acid, we get two rutilite, a rutil, rutil, rutile dust per cry. Uh, whoops. Anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> We get two rutile dust per ilmenite. Yes, but we use sulfuric acid. 
And also, uh, this guy give us those, which is which also includes tantalum, neobium, iron, manganese, and magnesium, which is good. The strange part is this guy. If I electrolyze it, I get an oxygen cell, one oxygen, one iron, and I got my sulfuric acid back. And if I pro uh, process root, root soil, I get yeah, chemical, in chemical reactor, I use 4 chlorine and 2 carbon, I get this. And if I use, if I blast furnace this, I get, get uh, with magnesium, I get titanium, yes, magnesium. Magnesium chloride dust, and if I process my, uh, that with sodium, I get magnesium back, the same amount of magnesium I put, and I get salt, which sodium and chlorine, and we get our sodium and chlorine back. The only thing we are not getting is carbon. And ah, actually, we get the carbon back too. It's a perfect recipe for us. Just need to use this one or large chemical reactor. Actually, we can use that. But the main issue is this area is not big enough. I have to expand this area either this way or this way. I need to do that, but it's uh, a bit late at the moment, so I will probably do it off camera and probably continue this episode tomorrow for me. You will see instantly. By the way, one more thing is falling meteor meteors, and with that we get either raw meteoric iron or directly meteoric iron ingots. Also, meteor. Also, there are these guys, meteoric irons, and those guys. Yeah, we have a lot of meteoric iron. Probably uh, our first batch of uh, tungsten is going to be manually processed for a small one bit, just to uh, kickstart, because what I want is... Let me just show you. It's a really nice thing. Yeah. Uh, after we get our first tung set batch of tungsten, we can get this quest because it will be get get by this, and then we can get macerating stack controller, which is the multi blocks uh, macerator. Uh, in the electrical age. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Yeah, uh, this is the. This is going to replace these guys. And it will be much faster, and we finally have byproducts. Byproducts is are good, but not that important. Anyway, I just rambled uh, for 12, 12 minutes without doing anything. So, I will build off camera. Okay, we are back after, I think, two or three days for me. Yeah, uh, actually a lot of things change. First, I upgraded this glass to mana glass, which also emits light. And also I made a small expansion to our base. Just a small one. Nothing huge. Nothing really huge. Yeah. And today we are going to replace some multi blocks. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue with our small adventure. Uh, as you can see, I designated this place here. And with that, we actually place blast furnaces. Yeah. Also, I made 
two new multi-blocks. Actually, I wanted to make a part. No, I made three multi-blocks, but I wanted to make four different multi-blocks, but one cannot be done at the moment. You will see which one. Okay, there are a lot of materials. And let's look at the controllers. And yeah, those are the controllers of our multiplex, which is first maturation stack controller. An amazing thing that's going to replace those beasts. By the way, those guys are beasts, but they became old and our needs kind of sort of exceed them. So we are going to upgrade those and multi smelter. Multi smelter is distant cousin of alloy smelter, which is just furnace, just furnace. And it's going to replace those guys. And with that, we actually outgrew our steam usage. So we are not going to need any steam at all besides oil processing. And then the large chemical reactor is a large chemical reactor. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's uh, literally the explanation. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the third is blast furnaces. And let's place our blast furnaces first. I forgot the output hatch too, right? I guess. I know I have a hatch and Pamuk decides to uh, jump on my microphone. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> energy hatch, HV energy hatch. I'm going to make them share one and it's not a problem because it can get two amps of uh, HV and they are not going to, um, both of them are not going to use full HP. HV, so output bus. I'm placing output bus here because when we upgrade them to quads EBF, I will use the same outputs for all of them. Okay, we are placing one HV muffler hatch. I will upgrade this guy in the future for a lot. A lot. Uh, why we are placing an upgraded one here. Uh, in by the way, in general, I'm not, I'm not playing with pollution, so uh, it's not a issue for me. But it's going to be an issue for you if you are playing with pollution. Uh, great tech pollutes. If you place uh, higher tier muffler hats uh, to your machine, you're reducing your pollution amount of the uh, in that machine. But what we are uh, currently doing is, uh, if a recipe uh, outputs either uh, carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, uh, we can catch it with uh, a percentage of it with the, our output hatch on top. If we have hi hi any higher tier muffler hatch than HV1. While we are doing this, we are gonna upgrade these guys and we cleared the area uh, i also removed the pipes from here to here uh this guy is currently powerless and but it doesn't uh, bother me because i can easily make a high voltage uh, compre uh, compressor and place it here so yeah it's not that important anyway let's place this bad boy and it's a bad boy. Okay, now we have our input hatch and maintenance hatches. Voila, the machine is done. And what we're gonna need to do is do this. Circuitry burns out because I'm... No, I'm not out of... Ah, yeah, soldering iron uh, is out of charge. And with that, this guy is actually ready to roll, but we're going to do something else that's with the chests. Extractor module here. Uh, 
this guy here, and you will be resetted. Thank you. And place it here. You will be entering here, and you start working. And yeah, as you can see, the speed is much faster and it's super powerful. Okay, now with this guy, we just need actually the yeah the same area should be okay. Yeah. Okay, I did things like this. We have a gaping hole there, but we, it's easy to close in the future. And voila, everything should be ready. And if we do this, yep, it's ready. And do I have anything to cook? Let's place them here. And you should start yeah uh, you are working and you are 16 at a time i will upgrade it to uh hp later and then it will cook i think 32 at the t at a time yeah voila this this part is ready now with our uh, current system uh, we need one more machine that is going to be a chemical reactor a large chemical reactor, LCR, uh, one of the cornerstone items of the Greg. And let's put the LCRs, and let's put you here, and then here. Yeah. And this guy here, and this guy, by the way. It uses a polytetrafluoroethylene, which is go to hell for some people. And we're also going to need one more friend. While uh, it's doing that, we're also going to need one chemical bath. By the way, uh, we are going to upgrade this guy to a multiple block variant, but it's going to be a single block for now. And let's use is power source and an HV transformer. Connect the power, so at least our blast furnaces are active. And then, later episodes, we are going to automate our titanium production. So we are going to just blaze with the titanium. By the way, we are using turbo, turbo gas turbine. Just uh, a small amount of of gas turbine uh turbo gas tur turbine because the fuel efficiency is garbage yeah it, it's a really high nose dive here and it, uh, uh, insane voltage one even worse that's why we are going to upgrade to large gas turbine and centralize our power infrastructure but for that, we need a bit more higher tier cables. And yeah, it's coming. It's coming. I'm... And there's no boom. Nice. Yep, uh, this guy... By the way, I'm uh, feeding do both of those guys with same uh, generator because... There, this guy's power usage is not that hot much, and those guys are just HV. So, it, this one you will use uh, how much? Uh, 1000 EU, and those guys are around 960, I guess. Yeah, I combined. So yeah, uh, we are not even fully using this guy. We can actually add a medium voltage machine and we will be fine as long as we transfer the power. Uh, by the way, I was planning on making the automation, uh, the titanium automation next episode, but we already see how we automate things. And yeah, I kind of sort of automated everything. Uh... <laughs> Without recording, sorry. 
but explain is explanation is super simple. Uh, let's take here. Not there. The only place I shouldn't take. Anyway, let's show the entire system. By the way, this is only part that is connected to the actual system, the act actual network, because it outputs oxygen as a 100% byproduct. It's a 100% byproduct, so yeah. Anyway, uh, also, this part. This part is the beginning. Actually, the beginning is here. This guy. We get Crush Illuminate and Sulfuric Acid. And it generates Rutile and Illuminate Slug. And so why the output is not working? I will look for, for something. I will try to fix it later. Anyway, uh, let's assume this works. And then there is a logistic chassis my pipe one, with one provider and one item sync module. And provider uh, provides active, this active supplier, Rutile Dust, to lar this large chemical reactor. Yes, and there is chlor, chlor, not at the moment. Uh, it will, eventually. Okay, magnesium enters the system, and I forgot one more part. Yeah, I forgot that part, too. Uh, extractor Mark III, and uh, Chassis Mark I. Uh, I'm glad I'm uh, making a video now. Now, let's put the extractor and... Yeah, uh, carbon enters here. Magnesium should enter here in any second. Now, uh, thank you. And if I... Let's just uh, assume he is not here. And if I put you back in the system, you should go, yes, there. You are making me nervous. And I destroyed all the configuration. Yay. That's why I don't like conduits, by the way. Okay, now, this should be working, okay, okay. It was a user error. Anyway. Now, after this cook, uh, and this, uh, this uses carbon and uh, chlorine with rutile, then outputs carbon monoxide and uh, titanium tetrachlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochlorochloroch
and we're pro we're probably going to spend a lot of time in extreme voltage uh, so insane voltage is really really in the future for us so i need to test this guy a lot and if it's not working i will have to find a solution for it yada yada the sodium uh, the titanium blah 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 goes there and mixed with magnesium and blast it and then we get hot titanium and magnesium chloride dust and magnesium chloride dust enters a chemical reactor with sodium and we it give, give us magnesium dust and salt and salt can be electrolyzed and we recycled our chlorine and sodium so yeah it's completely self-sufficient we just need to enter uh ilmenite yeah that's all that's literally all and with that we have actually the most efficient way of generating uh titanium at the moment and it's it will passively generate titanium for me as long as these guys are working so yeah this is how we are going to roll and uh, let me just put those guys too and then i can say i'm proud of this guy i'm really proud of this system anyway this is crafty crafty and have a nice day